welcome back as we continue to celebrate sport and everything that it gives to us. And I think this is exemplified by two extraordinary athletes. The boxing sensation Kevin Lorena and dynamic mixed martial artist Luke Michael. They have shown us what it takes for the human spirit to, to triumph despite the toughest of opponents. Literally, you've got to get in that ring, you've got to get in that cage, and you've got to do it. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. I can see the fire in you. You're not doing it right now, bro. <laughs> I'm not going to make you fight today. I know we've been talking about it. Um, first of all, you guys are, are looking dialed in for today, which is amazing. I think all of us thank understand you. the power of sport. You get to feel it on both ends of that. I've got to ask you, bro, because I remember watching a video of you when you were about 16, punishing some poor bag. I don't know what that bag did to you, what, what was going on in your life, but there was such a fire burning then. It's still there. Where does that come from, buddy? It's not talent. You know it's what something it's, else. You know what, Graham, it's, that was my dream back then, and it's still my dream now to do well, and to do well for my country, to do well for myself, my children, my family, the brands that support me, and most importantly, just to know that when I finish the sport of boxing, I can say I've left it all behind in the ring and I've given it my all. So the goalpost always changes, you know yeah. what I mean? So you'll get a world title fight, you win the world title, you want a unification. So it's always about setting those new goals and keeping that hunger alive. You know, very inspired by a guy like Stefan Tablanche, yeah. who's a, a legend in rugby, who retired at the age of 37, 38, who's looking better than he did. 100%. Now than he looked then. So guys like that inspire me and, want, uh, and, and inspire me to do well for myself, my family, and my country. 100%. And you deliver, dude. When you Thank go you. out there, you wear us <coughs> on your back, on your chest. Always. Um, which is a very special thing. Young, and when is that face going to get beat up, dude? I'm, I'm waiting <laughs> no, for the, the beauty yeah. to, to get knocked out Even of that, that face. Up, you know? <laughs> fight smart all the time. Uh, but 100%. <laughs> and, and you've got a fantastic fight IQ. Thanks, is that man, something that it. is there originally? Or are you just born with lack of fists? You don't even have the <laughs> biggest mugs. Where does it come from for you? Where does this fighting spirit for me, it's, it's been there from a young age, you know, like it, I've always had a passion for martial arts, you know, and as soon as I discovered it, I was like obsessed. You know, I wanted to compete, I wanted to train. I was like literally in the gym all the time, you know, and I sort of just, just grew from there. The passion just, just kept growing. Um, obviously competing, going to EFC, it was a massive achievement for me. Um, like making my pro debut uh, and then working myself up to win the belt. Yeah, it was, uh, it's there, you know. I, I'm gonna put this to both of you. It's a fight to fight. Or is it more? Because how do you wrap your head around that when there is so much at stake after those five minutes? After that, it's a finite gateway that you've got to go through that the rest of your future rests on. I don't know, I'm yeah. oversimplifying it, but does it feel like that? Or is it just you and another oak going in there to bang it out? How do you wrap your head around that? Gee, to be honest, for me, it's nothing... I try and make it not personal. This is what I do for a living. This is how I provide for my family. It's an art. It's an art. It's a sport at the end of the day. But it is a fight, you know, that guy standing up opposite you is, is in there to take your head off because yeah. he's got to feed his family too. So it's, it's two warriors who collide. That's why I got the utmost respect for fighters, whether it's uh, MMA, any combat sports, for because sure. it takes a lot to get into the ring and to get into the cage. And yeah, I respect all fighters, but at the end of the day, I always say to myself, that man over there is trying to take the food off my table. I cannot allow that. Yeah, 100%. Well, please, we're not going to fight today, dude. <laughs> it's not going to happen, Kev. Um, and I love this. The amount of pressure you put on yourselves, yes, yeah. to get that win. You've got an amazing team around you. I know both of you have an amazing camp around you. You don't get it right. And I think for me, what I've enjoyed, much to your detriment, is watching in the championship rounds, in the, the losses, how much personal growth happens. Mm, yeah. That almost seems to be where the magic is. It's true. How do you wrap your head around that and deal with the failures? Because you always seem to come out stronger. Yeah, you know, adversity, it's, it's, it's almost like it's, 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 like, um, it's going to happen. You know, it's inevitable in, a, in such a high-level sport. Especially you know? in a fight game. Especially yeah. in a fight game, you know. So, but uh, I, I just use it to my advantage, you know, uh, like learn, learn from it and, and just grow, you know, and become better. Exactly. <laughs> Keep the fire going and just uh, become better because of all of it, you know? And, and that's when you do, you learn those lessons. And there's sometimes, that, you know, when we talk about a line in the sand, once yeah. you cross that boy, exactly. <laughs> uh, it changes the game. Makes or breaks you. Uh, completely. Yeah. We have an opportunity, it feels like, this is a time again to unite South Africa behind sports. And you can almost pick any sport. I think the women's game in every area has just, it's been the, the year of women. Thankfully, we are seeing that kind of come back on par. But whether it's combat sports, whether it's rugger, whatever it is, this nation gets behind sports. What do you want to say to the fans who have literally bled with you, have picked up training because of you, you probably launched boxing careers. What do you want to say to those that have followed? Thank you. 
I think most importantly is, is thanking the fans, the supporters, the viewers, because yeah. that's es essentially who makes us. You know, the, the big brands like World Sports Betting who get behind us. I'm just grateful and, and, and thankful to all the supporters because at the end of the day, there's a lot of negativity always shown upon our country and upon sports, but sport has the power to bring people together and that it has in South Africa especially. I mean, look at the rugby, look at the women's sports, boxing. I, th I feel South Africa, it's a little country down south, but doesn't get the recognition it okay, deserves. So sure. I'm forever grateful, very patriotic and grateful for my South African supporters. All I'm doing is looking at jokes, wondering how much people have won of betting on you. <laughs> I'd love to know what that number is. And lost on the third uh, of December. I'm, I'm, buddy, I'm not even going to go there, dude. I'm not even, it's too soon, boy. <laughs> you can go. Um, but so good to have you guys here. Thank you so much for being a part of this little ecosystem. What a privilege that we get to plug into this and have everybody. You've got your heroes here today. You imagine how I feel, bro. Um, incredible stuff here. This is what sport can do regardless of the format, it's there to unite.